Hello and welcome back to Simple Ways for Google Sheets, Apps, Scripts, and other Google applications. Today we are going to explore a very important thing, which is the flow of our code. We had written some code in the Apps Script, so how this code is executed and how the flow of this code. We will be using if, if else, if, else, if, and the return function. So first we start by writing function, as we had said in our Apps Script, which we are going to go uh, soon. And then uh, we are going to put curly brackets. All our, our lines of code is included in this uh, curly bracket. So if we want to include some lines of code, we put two curly brackets and we put some line of codes in between these curly brackets. So these lines of codes are executed together. So it, within the function, I put some lines of code. The order of the execution, it starts from the first line and then goes down till the end line. So, and that's why we need to put some order, some logic for the execution that I get the, my sheet first and then my active sheet. So suppose that during the, this line execution, these two lines of code, I want to execute them upon some condition. So I don't want them to ex be executed just in order while they're free falling. So I'm going to wrap these two lines under an if conditional. So uh, simply write an if we had learned this in our previous video, if open parenthesis put some condition, for example, uh, equal to less than or greater than eight, for example, I put here greater than eight. Some value, I get it from my sheet. We will see how to get it, if you remember. Then I put curly brackets to include, to include those lines of code. If I have one line of code, I don't need to put a curly bracket, but if I have many lines of code, I need to put two or more, I need to put some curly brackets. So this is like, a, is the execution is going for, to check the condition, if this condition is fulfilled, it's going to execute these two lines. If it's not, uh, this condition is not fulfilled, it will skip these two lines between the curly brackets and then we'll jump to the remaining two lines at the end here and then we'll execute them by default. Let me explain it in a different way or let me first add something. If I add here before the end of the curly bracket, some wildcard called return. If I put some wildcard called return, then the execution will not continue it if the condition of the if is fulfilled then it will go execute these lines of code and then go to the return and then the return will take it directly to the end of the curly brackets let me explain it in a simpler way so if i have some uh, water flow is coming that's like the start of my program so my flow is flowing like here like here i make and make a fork so either it will move in this direction or move in this direction so the selection of the directions of the flow will be with if so if i'm putting an if if the if condition the condition inside the if is fulfilled it will move and execute the code in this branch but if the code is not condition is not conditions i can put something called else okay if i put else what does this else mean this else mean that if this condition is fulfilled it will not execute the else and will continue to fulfill or complete the other lines in the program but if the else, uh, if the if is not fulfilled, it will take only the else. I can book, put even the else condition. So it will be else if it checks the if condition and the else if condition. If both conditions are not fulfilled, the if and the else if, there will happen now here a jump and it will go back to execute the remaining lines outside like this, like I'm making a shortcut. It will go and execute the remaining lines of the program which is outside the if the group of codes for the if and the group of line of codes in the if else and then it will go to the end conditions so here the my flow will uh, continue if i go the if is fulfilled this way if the is not fulfilled it will go to the else or to the else f to check its condition otherwise if no condition is fulfilled it will make a jump to uh, to go to, to execute the remaining lines of the code and then we'll make an end as usual if i put some here I used the return uh, code in here and uh, I put some condition on, on, on any of the flow lines which is coming to put some return condition so like a node go to this node if it's for the if is fulfilled for example as we said it's going to and I inserted a return here it will going to jump by this return to the end and it will not execute the remaining lines of the code so I hope now we had understood the concepts of the branching and the conditional flow of the lines of the code. Now we need to go to our uh, abs script. If you remember in our abs script, the very first macro we had recorded, which is the square sheet, it, is, uh, it was going to uh, se select our spreadsheet, select the active sheet, select the available cells in the sheet or rows and heights and rows and uh, columns in the sheet, maximum rows and maximum columns 
it gets the complete uh, my complete sheet then I'm going to set the width and set the height and set the borders and I can here for example add the one line if you like to, to, to make many conditions and to see how the flow of the conditions for example then I will select my sheet and then I will get active because I had activated some range here so I'll get some act my active range and then dot I will set uh, background then we will check uh, the background selection is using string representing the colors so I will use yellow for example okay and as usual control s if I turn back uh, to my sheet our famous sheet we are explaining uh, using it so and then extensions macros and I run my uh, square sheet macro so if you remember it selects the the area of the sheet uh, turn it into squares put borders and then put some background to this border so if I need to control that control Z to return to the uh, original condition of the sheet and then if I turn back to my macro that's how we are saying that that's the flow of the code it's executing line by line line by line line by lines first selecting the range making it square and then making uh, setting the borders and then setting uh, the background to yellow. if now I need to control this flow so it's not ex do not execute all these uh, orders or all these actions it executes part of them based upon the conditions and part as flow so the first thing we can add for example I will add here and if condition I will use my sheet and then I will get a range okay uh, for example I will select one of the cells from my range I'll select the first one which is this one this one is for example that's F and 5 so that's the A1 notation so F5 and then after setting it I will need to get the value inside it so I'll get value okay and then open parenthesis so now I have in my hand the value which is 102 if I compare this if this for example I put is um, less than 100 for example now it's 102 so it will not be uh, less than 100 so this condition will not be fulfilled and then I need to enclose uh, for example making square brackets I will enclose this uh, making uh, the cells into squares and putting border to them I will enclose them in enclose them in curly brackets so I mark it this area and then I put shift curly bracket it will enclose all this in curly brackets simply if I put tab just to make uh, intendation so it's uh, I can read it with my eye that this group of lines follow the if uh, condition you can see here that's the starting of our curly brackets and that's the end of our curly brackets so you can make it clear like this and then control s don't forget the control s so if the condition is fulfilled this means if this value is less than 100 it will execute this line otherwise it will continue like water flow and execute the remaining line of the program which is making it a yellow background okay and then I make control s and then I go back to my sheet and extensions macros and I execute the square sheet you can see that it had made the selection turn it the background to blue but it didn't execute the lines in the middle of the code which includes the making it square and making it into brackets so suppose that now I need to add to it so here I can put here for example oh I can separate this one for example I will put uh, closing curly brackets here and then I put here an else condition so what does an else condition here means else condition means here if this if condition is not executed it will execute this one so here it's like the fork it will execute either this the if or the else it's obligatory to execute one of them if else means it is obligatory to execute either the if or the else okay so if the if is not fulfilled it will execute the else then I will save and I go to my data sheet again control Z so I return to the my original okay and after turning to the original I will go to my extension macros and then square sheet okay it's makes the selection put the borders you can see that now the borders are included but it didn't uh, and then it makes the background it simply it didn't turn the sheet into square sheets because the if condition is not fulfilled the if condition is not fulfilled so it's obligatory to go to the else and it executes the else and then continue executing my sheet so what if I put here else if then I, for the if I need some condition so I open my parenthesis and I put here some condition I will get my sheet dot get range let's we select the next one so I'll select F 
six, for example, we used F5 before, then I will get the value. Now I have my, in my hand the value of uh, which is in F6. Then I need to compare the value of in F6, for example, I make it if it is greater than 110. I don't have any values greater than 110. So here it's checking the if. And then after checking the if, it's checking the other condition. So that's upon the if is not fulfilled, it will go to check this condition. If this condition is not fulfilled, it will continue its program by default. Okay. And but if it uh, includes if uh, this if is fulfilled, it will not go to the else if. Okay. So that's very important to notice. And now I'm having both of these conditions are not fulfilled. So let's we go back to our sheets. Control Z to return to my original sheet and then extensions, macros, and then I run my square sheet. So it only made the background to yellow, which is the, the last step in my sheet because both of these conditions are not fulfilled. Because both of these conditions are not fulfilled. Now, suppose that I need to execute the, uh, the else if. Okay, and then I put this less than 110. So this condition will be fulfilled because all my values are less than 110. And here I will add my wild card, which is return. Okay, so what happens here? Here it will check the if first. And then it will check the if condition. If this one is not fulfilled because it's bigger than 100. So this one will not be fulfilled. So it will not turn it into square sheet. And then it will check the else if. Now, if the else if is fulfilled which is less than 110 it will go and put borders for my for the cells and then after putting the borders of the cell it will execute this line of code because it's inside the curly brackets of the else those two curly brackets so it will return return here means it will jump here it will jump to the end it will not execute any more this end uh, remaining lines after the return okay so we save and now we go back to uh, our sheet Okay, Control Z to return to the normal sheet again, and then I go to my extensions, macros, and I run my square sheet macro again. Now it checks for the conditions. It put the borders, but it didn't execute the last line of the program. It's not inside any. This last line is not inside any conditional or else or whatever. It's just written so it should pass to it by the normal flow uh, of the codes of the lines of the code. But because it's here, I added here a return. And this return wildcard called return was executed then it will jump to the last line of the code the return terminates the execution of my function now I hope you had a wealth of information about controlling the flow of the code in your program it is not necessary that you need only in this in in the apps script any code any code is executed in this way it's direct flow of the lines it's executes the lines from here from the first line till the end line unless you have some uh, functions that controls or some elements that controls the flow of your code like the if if uh, if else or if else if and the return okay that's only one way to control the flow of my of our codes we are going to see more ways in the coming lectures uh, subscribe see our previous videos spread the informations Leave us any notes if you like uh, to ask some questions with these videos. You can find in the description uh, a wealth of information about our trainings uh, on Udemy, our trainings on, uh, on Tutorial Point, and also uh, our services on Fiverr. We can help you with uh, correcting your functions, your apps and scripts, creating uh, automated functions for you, creating scripts for you. You can find all these links in the description box. So join, subscribe, check our functions and services, and trainings. See you with more simple ways for Google Sheets, apps, scripts, and other Google online functions. Thank you for following.